What's up guys, Jenga here. Welcome to another episode of the EPL vs La Liga Season 1 episode number 6. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did or do, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, share the video as it does help my channel out as it grown. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, or you can add me to your Google circle for updates on my channel. Now with that said, as you can see, we're going to be using Manchester City, a team that I don't necessarily support, don't really care too much about to be honest. Or to be quite frank, I'm a Manchester United supporter, so you guys know my feeling once it comes to Manchester City. But with that said, it definitely won't be clouding our judgment or clothing or professionalism. We'll definitely be looking to uh, be professional. Professional and of course use this team to the best of our ability to very much put some goals past this Espanol team. Now with that said, we want to try and feel the best squad as possible. We're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 formation, a formation that I'm not quite sure if uh, you know this Manchester City team is uh, accustomed to. Uh, but with that said, they're playing a very strong squad, so we'll see how it works out. We have Milner and this David Silva on the wings, and of course Tevez playing just Brent Aguero. So a very very quick pace. Um, Front four, I guess you could say, with the exception of probably Milner, but nevertheless, it's a strong team. And we're going to play against a really strong Espanol team, playing a 4 2 3 1 formation, too, as well. I'm not too familiar with the squad, so I can't say too much about the squad. Uh, so forgive me, dear guys. Um, I, I do uh, sincerely apologize for that. But with that said, uh, we'll definitely be looking to get a quick start in this one. So in the 16th minute, Milner picks it up. He's going to put this one into space over the top for Jim, for Barry. And of course, Barry takes it down pretty nice, but I don't know what he was doing there. I, I'm feeling that he's right footed, so I don't know why. I didn't use his right foot versus his left. But with that said, it was a bad miss from him there. But with that said, they did push forward in the 25th minute. A nice crossing. Uh, didn't get ahead to it nice. And of course, they were able to get it on goal. Joe Hart makes a really good save, but it came right out to the player there. We'll just able to they pretty much put that one into the back of the net in the 26th minute. And of course, leaving us very frustrated because at this point, we were defending somewhat decent. So we weren't too happy, but we decided to turn the pressure up. And of course, Tevez passed a nice ball into Torre. He takes a shot off on the edge of the box. And of course, the keeper making a really good set, though. What a strike that was. A lot of power behind it. Now, we're going to try and get this corner in to see if we can get uh, and get ahead onto it. But that didn't come out the way we wanted to. I wanted to get enough curl on it, so we'll curl just at the end uh, of the curl. But it didn't work that way. They did cross this one in, though, in the 42nd minute. And, of course, we did clear it out. They did go to one of their players that did try to bring this one back into the box. But we were able to just stand their ground. I was able to definitely clear this one out. Tab is passing it, as you can see here, to Aguero. He's going to put us in a spot for Milner. Milner is going to push forward. And he does have a mean right foot. He's going to hit that one into that far corner, beating the keeper in the 45th minute, right on the stroke of off time, giving us that time goal. And of course, a goal that we definitely wanted to definitely, hopefully, swing momentum in our way. And hopefully, we can definitely uh, get another goal, at least going into the second half. Now, as you can see, we're going to the half. It's a very, very close game. Apart from our shot, Atkins was really better than theirs, but their passing was better than ours too as well. So it's a very tight game with a, just a little bit, you know, each of us having a little better uh, stats. But look at this here. Some nice, uh, you know, nice touch and, and some quick thinking on his uh, on his feet uh, from Tevez there. But, uh, you know, just just unfortunately goes wide of the post. And they push forward here in the 56th minute. And look, a nice crossing. We were able to head this one out. And I don't know what in the world just happened there with company. As you can see, he took the ball pretty well. And I was sudden it just went through his leg and for a right to the player they was able to capitalize on that one giving them a second goal to go up 2-1 now with that said we wanted to try and hit back on the counter right away and of course look at this a nice pass in and of course they'll finally able to get that one out but did over back pick the ball up and we're going to pass this one in as you can see here the guy where and of course he's going to finish this one that one even coming off the post and going into the back of the net in the sixth or second minute and of course giving us the time goal again they did use the opportunity to make some changes, so we wanted to go in and make some changes too as well. And I felt like some of the, the players just wasn't performing like they should. So we decided to see if we can bring some pace of players in and see what can happen. So we brought in Desco, Deco, as you can see there, and of course Sinclair. And we'll see how they perform. Uh, the, the, you know, their stats wasn't that bad. So we'll see how they, you know, if they can make the squad a little better. And it definitely worked, as you can see. Some nice play there from David Silva. was still able to manage the ball. But as you can see, guys, look at all those yellow shirts. They were defending quite a bit, which makes it very, very frustrating for us. But with that said, we did push the ball again into space here. As you can see, Fidesco is going to pass this one in to Aguero. Aguero is going to push forward. Uh, you know, you can see, they look at that two defenders there on him. So we had to make some space. Dave Silva with a shot there. And that one, as you can see, they keep on making a really, really good save. Again, they try pushing forward with the winning ball again. Desco pass it into, into space here. And, of course, the way to block that one to Silver, David Silver again. Pass it in and look at the strike here from David Silver. What a goal that would have been. A nice overhead kick there. But, of course, the keep on making a really outstanding save. We weren't able to do anything else, guys. And so we end up ended the match two apiece, which is very frustrating. Aguero was the man of the match at 8.6. And, um... I don't know what more to say about that. As you can see, our stats did 
uh, you know, come back quite a bit. As you can see, we have 11 shots and 8 on target. Our shot accuracy was went down to 72. And look at their pass in the 85 versus their 88. So we definitely took control of the game, but it was just a very difficult game. They defended pretty well. Their defending seemed to be pretty, pretty well. Which, you know, of course, the you know, La Liga teams are not well known for their defending, to be honest. So uh, a lot of those players, even if they have a defender right back and a left back, they're very attack minded sometimes, which, you know, definitely can get, uh, they can get burned on the, you know, on the counter attacks and so forth. A perfect example of that is a team that I support in La Liga, Barcelona. Uh, you can see David, um, Dani Alves is very, very attack minded and he pushed for quite a bit. Uh, even though he, he definitely can defend too as well, he's very attack minded as well sometimes. And it can, you know, definitely spell, you know, trouble for you sometimes you're playing against a really strong team. Uh, but with that said, we're going up against, um, Chelsea, and we're going to be using the, the lesser team, of course, in West Ham. And, of course, I changed the formation to a 4-2-3-1 formation. A uh, very strong team, to be honest, uh, that they're putting out. Um, and for me personally, I think they have some very strong uh, players. Not the best of players, but, you know, some very strong players that can definitely hold their own. Uh, some tall players, too, as well. So we'll see how they fare against our magnificent Chelsea team. Playing the same formation again, a 4-2-3-1 formation. It seems like every team play this formation. Um, you know, I guess I, I have to put myself in that boat, boat too, as well. But a strong Strong formation, as you can see from them, uh, Oscar uh, as well is definitely one to look for. He's very nifty and a uh, quick player too as well. But with that said, a nice pass in here from us. And we put this one into the box and look at this one there coming off the post from under Carroll. What a strike that was! Uh, nice improvisation there. We did win the ball back, and this time we won't miss. As you can see, Nolan was able to put that one in far into that far corner. Beating Pedacek and of course giving us the first goal in the eight minute. And like I said, guys, we were definitely on fire. We were playing the counter attack to be honest, but we did get you know quite attack minded too as well. And look at the save here. Uh, that was a very good edit there from uh, I believe that was um I'm not quite sure who that was uh, to be honest, but it was a nice edit anyway from the player there. And look at the striker. It seemed like everything we were hitting was definitely going in. And of course, you know we wanted to try. And uh, scores must go to spots because I know at one point uh, Chelsea probably will wake up and eventually try to par back, you know, our, our goals. So we wanted to try and get as much goal as possible, especially with the fact that they, they felt like they were sleeping. But I believe David Luiz was the player that actually had that shot on target. But with that said, uh, the header. But we had six shots, six in target, as you can see. Uh, look at the pass and I can see outstanding. Uh, we were playing very, very well. Or we were defending pretty well. And we were just holding up the play pretty well. Look at this. Some nice over-the-top pass here. And Carl takes it down. He's going to try. And, you know, Christmas space takes a shot off and that one going just wide off the post what a goal that would have been to able to go between two defenders there and a bad passing from us here trying to get over our own box and we pretty much gave the ball away and look at that ball was able to capitalize on that one and i can't say that was a work a well worked goal for them we'll let them have it because we pretty much gave it to them which is very frustrating i don't like giving up goals and you guys should already know that but again nolan picks the ball up here he's going to put this one into space here for under carol he's going to cut this one back and look at this strike what a strike and even a better save uh, that one, you know, deflecting off, pay the check and going out for a corner. Uh, I mean, that should have been a goal. I was trying to hit it low, but for some reason, it, it was just a lot of power beyond it. Now, this is what kind of corner I like to hit. Look at that corner. As you can see, there falls perfectly for under Carroll. That's what I was trying to do when I was using City a while ago against an Espanol team. I was trying to curl it just at the last minute, and it worked real good for us there against uh, Chelsea. And, of course, under Carroll was able to capitalize on that one. We did go in, however, before... The restart from that goal and try to make some changes to bring some other players in. Brought in Taylor, Noble, and Cole, as you can see. Hopefully, they will come in and, of course, help us win this game. That's what we're looking to do. And look at this here. A bad turnover from us in midfield. We're pushing up so much trying to get back that goal. And look at that. That came off the post. And, of course, you know, as you can see there, Fernando Torres was able to capitalize on his own miss coming off the post and giving them that second goal, tying the goal. So, it definitely flattered Chelsea. Didn't flatter us a little bit. Uh, we definitely should have won 3-1 or at least, um, you know, 3-0 if not mistaken. Nolan was the man of the match, uh, very much deserving. And as you can see, we definitely dominated. Look at that. We had 12 shots, 10 in target against a really good Chelsea team. Look at our shot and pass accuracy. Outstanding. And we even have more position than they did. You don't see this regular in the real world. So we com we play completely outstanding. But with that said, guys, our next game is going to be you. Uh, we're going to be playing as Newcastle United, going up against Swansea City. Should be for a pretty good game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like. Uh, thumbs up and of course guys please subscribe and share the videos it does help my channel others and growing again this is your boy Jerry English thanks for tuning in and peace